Hey, Remy. Want to make a video? Let's make a video. Sit down. So, me and Remy get asked quite a bit about uh, our backpacking adventures together. And people ask a lot about the stuff that I bring for him. So, this is Remy's pack. Um, I'm not going to get into specifics about his pack. I mean, there's tons of different packs out there for your dog. The most important thing I think is get one that fits. Um, one thing that I like is I went with this pack specifically because of the sternum strap configuration, the fact that his pack doubles as a harness. So I can hook his leash directly up to it. So this leash stays on his pack all the time. Um, I like having the carabiner so I can clip him to the waist belt of my pack and don't really have to worry about it. I can be hands free using my poles, whatever, stays on my side. Um, his bear belt always stays on his pack. It's pretty important, I think. Uh, it's got a little tylus around it so I can stop it from rattling around when we're in the house. Remy, come here. Come here. Sit down. Sit down. thing that I've noticed with hiking with him is you want to make sure that your pack is centered over his shoulders, like kind of where you would picture his front shoulders to be. Um, I see a lot of people that have got their pack too far back and it's kind of sitting on their dog's lower back and just that's going to be pretty uncomfortable for them. So stuff that Remy carries in his pack. Um, I like this pack for these little outside pockets. I've got, on either side, he's got these little 500 mil platypus soft water bottles. Um, these help a lot for balancing out the weight. That's kind of the biggest, the biggest issue that we run into is just getting the right weight balance on either side because, you know, like a person's hiking pack, if you've got too much weight on one side, your pack's going to sag and his pack will sag and it's uncomfortable for him. So he's got one of those on either side. Uh, easily accessible things, poop bags, it's pretty self-explanatory. Um, we always carry a couple garbage bags with us, just the cheap black plastic ones. So we use those for if we're going on a couple day trip, you know, throw the poop bags in there so we can pack them out. Just got this water bottle on the other side as well. Um, Garbage bags also work too. It can make a you know a cheap, easy rain cover for him if it starts coming down. So things that he carries. It's going to be we got this cool little collapsible food and water bowl. Just super handy to have. He's always got his blanket. And that's pretty much like his, his pack's not loaded for a trip, so this isn't the order everything's gonna go in, but He's got a little packable towel to dry them off. So he's got some treats of some kind. Uh, food, this is about enough for maybe breakfast for him. And then I always just bring a tennis ball. It's pretty, pretty simple and basic. I mean, he essentially carries all his own food and water. Obviously, I mean, if we're going on a longer trip, he's gonna have more food. Right? You're sitting so good, aren't you? Take the pack off you. So, the blanket is basically for, you know, if we're around camp, I'll throw it down for him to lay on beside the fire or whatever. Just something to keep him off the ground. For sleeping, um, this is what we went with. It's just a simple... Yeah, get out of the way. Get out of the way. Just a simple, cheap, blue foam sleeping pad you can get at pretty much any outdoorsy store. Uh, it was a full-length pad, 
I think it cost me about 15 bucks. I just laid it beside his kennel and I cut it to the same length as his kennel. Gives him insulation off the ground. I can throw his blanket on top of it. I can throw his blanket on top of him. Um, I mean, we've been out in, you know, below freezing conditions and he hasn't had any issues. Um, what I like about the blue foam pad is I usually just roll it up and I'll strap it to the outside of my pack. If it gets wet, it's not going to soak in any water. It just beads right off. Um, I don't have to worry about, you know, I know a lot of people like bringing like the down beds for their dogs and just, I mean with him in particular, he loves the water, loves to swim, so a down blanket isn't going to work for him. Um, I've also got like a kid size wool blanket that we bring if uh, we know the temperature is going to get low. Wool is great, it's going to keep him going to keep him warm even if he goes to bed and he's a little bit damp. Um, anyone who's got a dog that's got Husky or Shepherd with that thick fur is going to know that it takes forever to get those dogs dry. And yeah. So that's, that's pretty much it. I mean, you know, a pack that fits, make sure your weight's evenly distributed. Um, the bear bell on the pack, when we get to camp and he's got his pack off, his bear bell just clips either onto his buff, which is actually, I'll talk about this, it's a awesome thing. I don't know if anybody knows about buff headwear. Um, that's, I wear buffs all the time when I go hiking, but um, we bought one for him and it's awesome in the summer. I mean, when it's hot outside, I'll just take this off of him. It's just like a little neck wrap thing, I don't know. Dip it in the water and throw it over his neck. It just gets, it helps keep him cool on hot days, which helps. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. That's all we take for him. I mean, I know you can get into specifics about why I don't have a specific first aid kit for him, but I mean, anyone who looks into what's in a dog first aid kit is going to know that it's basically the exact same stuff that I would carry in my first aid kit as is, and I carry a pretty comprehensive first aid kit with me, so I'm not too worried about it. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much all we take, and is there anything else, Remy? Do you need to add anything? No, he's, he's probably thinking he's going out on a hike now that we've got his pack out and all his stuff. But yeah, that's pretty much it. I mean, if anyone has any more questions, feel free to ask. Um, yeah, hopefully this helps.